Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at SC16 in Salt Lake City at the Intel Discovery Zone and here with Jefferson. Jefferson, what are you showing off here today? Showing off uh, some of Intel's software-defined visualization software uh, for both ray tracing and OpenGL-based rendering on CPUs. Okay, and this particular demo is running on the Intel Xeon Phi, correct? That is correct. Okay. Um, so we have this developer access program workstation running a 64-core um, KNL processor, and we're doing that to do some ray tracing of some uh, Cosmos data from Stephen Hawking's team in Cambridge. That's right, that's right. They're using Xeon Phi, yep. aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Now, when I think of Xeon Phi, graphics aren't the first thing to come to mind. Yeah. Um, is, is this a software-based way to do visualization? Yes, so all of our stuff, uh, it, it's, it's in the name, software-defined visualization. <laughs> yeah. So we do, we do OpenGL and ray tracing. When uh, you run out of GPU memory, uh, we, we want a nice, high-performance option that's actually very competitive with GPUs right on your CPU, both Xeon and Xeon Phi. So Jefferson, is this just a pre-rendered movie or can you actually drive this visualization? So we do have a pre-rendered movie, but here we have a, a live interactive rendering of this data set here right natively in Paraview. And as we move around the scene, we can see Osprey uh, spins up all those threads on this KNL here. Uh, we can view all, all that work being done as we're updating the screen on the right side here. It's nice and interactive. So you can see how the cores are getting divided and where the you know where the busiest things are happening here. Can't Abs you? Absolutely. Yeah. So Osprey, uh, you know, we we light up the whole chip. We use the whole thing. <laughs> okay, and I just wanted to ask you one more question about this particular visualization. Yep. What are we seeing? Is this like a black hole colliding? Or yeah. What so so uh, Stephen Hawking's uh, team, they with this simulation, they're simulating two colliding black holes. Mm -hmm. And and the the cool story about this particular visualization is that it's an adaptive mesh refinement data set, which traditionally has been very difficult for them to see to create a visualization. So with our ray tracing framework called Osprey, it was easy to get them in pair view, a very common tool, to be able to, to render their data to be able to see where their simulations are, where, what they're doing at all, and to see where, where improvements and bugs might be lingering so they can improve their, their simulations. Yeah, this is great. So you got like Stephen Hawking, he's, he's got all this math in his head, but you're giving them the ability to, to see this and Absolutely. get new insights. Absolutely. Yeah, so the, the human vision system is the best way to communicate really complex data so we can understand it.